Just listen to this nonsense. One thing is clear, when this is all over, Israel is going to have to apologize, not just to the Palestinians, but to the whole of the rest of the world. Say so we're very sorry, we got it all completely wrong, and we are now leaving. Okay, we'll go back to Eastern Europe or the United States or wherever we came from and leave these people, the Palestinian people, the people whose land this is. So Roger is basically saying that the Jewish people should return to Eastern Europe or America, wherever they came from. And this is not recognizing that the Jewish people escaped those territories from genocide. That's why they escaped. And that's the whole reason why Israel was created. So that the Jewish people would have their own state where they could defend against the aggressors. Jewish people were killed wherever they lived and anti-Semitism was everywhere and today it is frankly growing. It was not an evil plan to start oppressing the Arabs that lived in the Holy Land. No, it was created so that the Jewish people could have a state that would defend them. And this is exactly what Israel is doing. And you know, Roger later on in his video says, well, some of you may stay if you want, but Israel needs to be finished, but this new state needs to be created where everybody will be free, there will be democracy and it's going to be great, wonderful. I just have one question. Where in the Middle East, in the Near East, you have democracy? Well, guess what? The only country where in the Middle East and in the Near East, you have democracy, is Israel, where Arabs and Jews live together. Here you can see an index of the Near and Middle East, where it shows how much democracy you have in each country. And really, Israel is where you have the most democracy in those countries. So, believing that when Israel will be gone, it will be wonderful, well, the neighborhood doesn't show it. And I can tell you what would happen if Israel would be gone. Hamas would take over, it would enslave the people, and the country, whatever it would be called, would be really radical. Women would have to wear all those things on their faces and, and, and stuff. There would be no democracy. Nothing. Because that's the reality of the Near East.